All right, so in this video, I think I'm just gonna have a little wander around Holston Furs, one of my favorite places to visit. See what I can uh, capture. I've used this place for um, like engagement photo shoots, uh, family shoots, all types of photography really. And I, I, I like to come here in my spare time as well. So today I've got uh, one camera, one lens, and the lens of choice today is the 100mm macro. So when I head out with my uh, camera, I'm not one of them that will bring out 20 lenses. I tend to stick to just one lens. Uh, I hate faffing around, to be honest with you. Um, so yeah, like I say, lens of choice today is 100mm macro. Uh, just because it is a macro, oh God. Ugh. Just because it is a macro doesn't mean you need to use it for that purpose. You don't need to capture like little things. Um, obviously I'm going to aim to probably capture an ant of some sort. Um, but you can also, oh blade in hell. Ugh. But yeah. <laughs> you can use it for landscape photography you can use it for portraits I've used it at weddings for portraits loads of times brilliant little lens I um, only brought it for one purpose and that was to capture wedding ring shots um, but it's got loads of uses loads of uses so yeah let's have a wander around the forest okay so this spot down here has caught my eye I know it doesn't look like much on camera but I'm going to show you a little before and after um, so I'm actually going to capture these set of leaves around here. It's a really strange time at the minute. There's no weddings to capture, no parties I can go out and capture. So I've been trying to fill my time to keep sane with these uh, YouTube videos. It's definitely a learning curve. This is some, I've never done anything like this before editing videos it, it, at the minute it's taking forever because I've got to get used to the programs and quite that sun's bright so yeah, at the minute I'm just going to keep creating as much content as I can once everything goes back to normal uh, then I'll be back into wedding photography mode shooting all the events that I can that's always been the first passion nothing I'll ever sort of overtake that okay so I found my next shot so Again, I like the way the uh, sun's hitting these leaves. Creating these videos is still really alien strange talking to a camera feels even weirder today because i'm actually outside doing it um as soon as somebody as soon as i can see somebody in the distance i'm like put that camera down put the camera down it is strange really strange for me it's just a nice little way of creating like a personal diary of just I find it funny when i actually write down uh, the list of videos that i can make because it's surprising what i've picked up over the years little tips and tricks um, yeah, I'll try and create videos for them. So this little area now I'm walking up towards, or this, um, I suppose it's a path, a road. I've used this a number of times for shoots. In fact, I've seen loads of photographers use this particular spot. Uh, in fact, even for the last shoot I did up here, uh, I did an engagement shoot in March. I used this area. It doesn't look like much at the moment. But at certain times of the year, this, this, little, this little area is perfect. It is wild this morning. I'm in need of a haircut. Okay, so I think the next shot I'm going to find, I'm going to try and look for an insect, I think. There's probably like an ant mound around here somewhere. I've actually caught insects here before as well. Turned out really cool. Um, it could take a little while to to get the shot you want. Ants, as you can imagine, they just go crazy. So I found an ant mound. They're absolutely swarming around here. So the aim now is to capture a picture of an ant. So this is the tree that I'm gonna use. Uh, uh, I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera, but they're all over this tree. So, 
I'm going to do my best to capture a, a few of these. Okay, so I got the shot. That was a lot harder than I thought it would be. I've done that shot before, but not for a few years. And trying to do that with a handheld, with a 100mm macro, was difficult. So I've always enjoyed visiting this place. It's a great place to sort of clear your head, get your thoughts together, get a plan of action together for the day. Uh, I'm a bit weird. I'll even visit here when it's absolutely pouring down with rain. It's lovely. Absolutely lovely. But um, yeah, here's a few images which I've captured here in the past. It's nice to see as, a, as the seasons change, how much this place changes. All the colors, everything, textures, everything changes. Um, like I say, the last time I was here was in March and even since then it's changed so much. Actually, I'm a massive fan of the 100 mil macro. I love macro photography. Um, but that's getting into that that's a whole different ball game as well um, some amazing macro photographers out there my love will always be weddings and events but look, in my spare time I, it's definitely a lot of fun having the macro lens out I actually brought the macro lens for one reason and that was to capture wedding rings at weddings um, but it has so many uses it is fun it is a lot of fun hard to master though that's a fact very hard but I'm getting there I'm getting there Okay, so I'm going to be capturing, um, I don't know what you call this, a fern, I'm guessing. Uh, it doesn't look like much here, but I actually like the way the light is breaking through the trees. 